Okay, what's up guys? I just got off of work. It is now almost 11 o'clock and it is Thursday night and I want to do something kind of cute for Brian. I was gonna go to the grocery store and like, which I think I'm gonna do tomorrow, but I just want him to do something for him when he wakes up. So I'm gonna make him cookies and um, yeah, I'm gonna make them from scratch, which I hardly ever do. But since me and Caroline have been like baking more and stuff, it's, I don't know, I would say motivated me, but uh, I do enjoy it. So I'm gonna do that. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what they, I'm not gonna do like a whole complete cook with me. I will put the recipe, whatever I find on Pinterest down below for you. Um, and I will show you obviously what they look like after. And I'll tell you if they turn out like crap, which we do not have a good, um, streak of when we bake it's hilarious it's actually comical after we make it and we taste it but i will say brian did eat some of that no bake cookie dough um bar we made and he said today it tasted good so i don't know i think he threw the rest away um but yeah what else was i going to tell you tasha has a vet appointment tomorrow so fingers crossed it's been two weeks since she's last month which i'll talk to you guys about it now um i forgot to talk to you about it in a video but we had her go to the vet because we actually thought she was going blind. I'm sure Brian's mate probably talked about this in a video. He took her. I had to work, unfortunately. So, um, that was really awesome. She has, her eyes are not producing tears. So, that is why we kind of thought she was going blind. She's getting, like, this muc, I know, kind of gross, but she's getting, like, this mucusy film over, like, her eyelids. And then she obviously did stuff that would make you think she's going blind and she's older in age and um what else she's older in age and pugs are very prone to going blind so i thought okay for sure that's definitely what it is absolutely but we had noticed the one day that she had been very lethargic she just had no life to her she didn't want to do anything she did eat and drink though so that made me feel better um so yeah, I made that appointment like ASAP because I was like, I'm not even t like risking this. I want to know what's wrong with her and if she's okay. And she's actually very healthy. She's completely fine. The only thing is she's not producing tears. So they gave us this antibiotic for her and it is literally, um, she's all done with it now. It is extremely small and um this has done wonders to her eyes so like i said her eyes would get this big like mucusy huge film over it and no matter how many times i cleaned it off it still would come back and it was it was really frustrating and i had no idea why so they gave her this to see if that would help and it's helped significantly um yesterday she ran out yesterday night so all day today and then last night she hasn't had any um of the antibiotics but we did go buy her these eye wash drops um the vet did tell us we could in you know with using this to use this too they also they recommended us using like human um saline drops for the eyes um but i had bought this previously to her going so we just continue to use it it works really well i'm so i don't know i'm gonna have him talk to them about this and ask him if that's good but uh, where am I going with this? I see this is why I suck at telling stories. So yeah, she's all done using this. It has done wonders for her. I will say um, today I did notice it's literally so minimal. Some um, like little like, I was looking at her fridge, so no important stuff was on there. She has like a little, just like a little bit of like discharge almost. It's very, very minimal though, and it her eyes still look really good. I did notice the whites of her eye was a little bit like um, red yesterday, so I was like, I don't know. I'm gonna have him talk, tell them tomorrow about that. But the moral of the story is he's going tomorrow for them to do a follow-up to check and see how her eyes have reacted and that. And if they notice anything, they said that um, she may end up being on some type of medicine for the rest of her life. And I think it's just like an oral medicine. Um, I don't really know. I wasn't there when he went. He just kind of told me when I was on break at work. So... I don't know fingers crossed that when she goes tomorrow they tell us like even better news but like i said she may be on an antibiotic or not an antibiotic just some kind of medicine i guess for the rest of her life which they did say is very common um i'm just overall i'm very happy and blessed because she is not blind um her vision is actually pretty good they said um from what they could see uh what else they said though with her eyes not producing tears why she probably seemed like she was um blind is because 
when she opens and closes her eyes, it's almost like they, they said it was like sandpaper. So that made me feel awful because this has been like this for a little bit. And um, I feel like a horrible dog mom. I should have had her in there like a week prior. But regardless, we got her in. And they did say that sometimes when it's like that, if you have waited too long, it could cause damage to the eye and she could go blind. But they said there is absolutely not an ounce of damage to her eyes. So that's good. Um, like I said, though, I do enjoy, like, I do like this stuff. Um, I don't know. I feel like this is harder to give her than this was. Um, I struggle to get this in this dog's eyes. She hates it and I get it more on her face and all that than that, you know. So yeah. Um, I think that's it. I think I'm gonna bake. I would like to get some show, like get my fall decor out. Even though Brian tells me I can't decorate right now. When I think of fall decor, I've noticed some people do like just like fall stuff and every obviously fall stuff they don't put out their halloween stuff me when i think of fall i instantly go on halloween mode like i want my house decorated to look like a haunted house I, we don't really go that crazy but i do i do plan on buying more halloween decor but right now like i said we're going on a trip soon so i'm honestly saving every bit of money i have right now i don't want to like blow because i want to when we go on our trip i want to buy stuff um but yeah so i might end up showing you in this video or like another day i'll compile the video but um, I might get my totes out and see what I even have, what I'm working with. Um, and then I'll kind of like make a list of things that I know I want to buy. And yeah, so I got to put you up to date with her eyes, her vet appointment and everything. And Bailey's walking around with her little toy. She's the only dog that plays with toys. It's really funny. And um, I don't know about you guys. Here's this like my last little thing. So our kitchen table's right over there. And Brian, I love him to death. I do. And he does his little projects. And I don't care. Do, like, whatever makes him happy. I swear, though, my anxiety is through, well, not through the roof. But, like, when I see a bunch of, like, mess on the table, I instantly want to pick it up and clean it. I want it clean and, like, nice looking. And he has a method to his madness over there. It looks like a complete, I mean, I'm not even going to show you a picture of it or show you like what it looks like because it's, uh, but um, he's got like his lights for his slingshot, his iPad, a glue gun. Um, he, I, he has everything, wires galore, but I'm not going to touch any of it because I know that he's working on something. So I guess I'm just going to let my kitchen table look like a disaster. I'll just pretend it's not there. But yeah, let's go make these cookies because now I've rambled for like 10 minutes. And yeah. All right, guys. I'll show you what it looks guys. like. So here they are. Super cute. They turned out, well, I have yet to eat one. They look really good. They're really pretty. They're really hot too also. Um, but yeah, I like the little chocolate chips. Super pretty golden i will put the description in the box and obviously in the box below um so you guys can see what recipe i used i just typed in chocolate chip cookies picked one that looked easy and you know whatever if you guys want to know the chocolate chips i use though i use these um honestly i like them and they're cute and they were only 50 cents a bag and i'm kind of kicking myself because i wish i would have bought more but this is, well, actually I bought two bags and I still have half, well, I got a quarter of the bag left. But, yep, and then inside of it too, um, I had leftover chocolate chips, so I put just some of these mixed in with it. So yeah, super good. Not healthy by any means, but I wanted to do something cute for Brian, so I made him these. Hopefully he likes it. And yeah, um, I have more in the fridge. I put the extra dough in the fridge and I'm going to bake those up real quick and it's almost midnight now. So yeah, I think I'm going to be done filming for the night and I got Coco. Hold on. Coco, just sitting here crying because she wants a cookie, don't you? She's in heat right now, so of course she wants one. Who doesn't want a cookie when they're in heat, right? Is that right, baby? Say hi, guys. Look at my salt and pepper. Oh, my little babies. I love them so much. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to go wash my hands. Oh, my God, my hand. Hold up low. Look, my nails kind of match the chocolate chips. Precious. Guys, if you know, you know. I'm watching Hocus Pocus. And can you believe Brian has never seen this movie? But 
I'm not just watching this movie. I'm setting the mood because we are decorating for fall. But yep, if you guys have never seen this, it's a classic. You have to watch this along with Halloween Town. It's like you have to, but I'm allowed to decorate now. So I pulled out my decorations. I'm going to show you what I have. I think I have more like upstairs, but also I do plan on buying more Halloween decor for the house. Um, but yeah, like a lot of stores I'm going to right now don't have the decor that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to start putting out stuff like slowly scatter it through the house and then eventually I'm going to have it all done up. Um, what else? I'll show you these two things that I have right here. I got this croc. I think they call them a croc. I'm not sure. It's a Radon. It says, be thankful. I have the receipt in here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this 100%. Um, probably have to look on Pinterest for inspiration. That's what I have to do sometimes. But, yeah, this is kind of cute. Um, something about me is I have a bajillion pumpkins. And I love studs. Like embellishments like this and this is comp this is all me and i had forgot like see how i ho like shop for the holidays is i wait till after the holiday and then i go and i just buy stuff on clearance because that's your best bet and this i know i got it at target it was regularly five i think i probably paid like two dollars for it super cute forgot i had it i didn't even put it up last year i don't think because i had forgot about it so these are two of the things i have and then I'll show you the rest. I'm going to show you the rest of the decor in case any of you guys want to see. Um, I got this white pumpkin. I kind of got to clean it off a little bit, but it's gold with the embellishments. I forget. And again, I forgot I had this one last year. So um, I got, when did I get this? I didn't buy this last year. I bought it the year before. Super cute. So I'm going to put that up. Um, I bought this pumpkin. This was five. Again, I know I didn't pay the price for it. This is a black one. And... Again, I don't even think I knew I had this. I have two of them, and I'll show you in a minute. But, yep, I love the black, and I love the look of it. So, that's cute. Um, our tray right here that we use, I'm going to swap it out with this one. This one is huge compared to that. This, um, actually, that is a fall one I use. Whatever, nobody knows. But this is a, of course, what I'm watching, Hocus Pocus one. So, I like this to put up in the middle of the table. And then... What else? Hold on, let me get a better one. in here. I just kind of throw it in boxes, and that's how I do it. Um, I have this little boo sign. I $2.97. I think I got this at Walmart a couple years ago. I don't think I bought any decor. This is something old. I'm not going to put that up. Um, some of you guys might not know about me. Um, I'm obsessed with skulls, and I do want a skull tattoo one day. <laughs> so I have this. A lot of this stuff was on my, like, Ray Dunn display for Halloween last year. So a lot of this is actually going to go up in my room because I still want to decorate for, um, I still want to decorate, like, I don't have a hutch, but I do decorate my little cubicle thing, if you will, my organizer. So that'll probably go upstairs. Um, these straws last year I put in like a mug. They looked really cute, so it's really nice decor. I got these at Walmart. One of these candles in here smells like maple syrup. This one um, Brian had got for me, and it's pumpkin latte. I've never burned it. I'm not a, It smells like some maple syrup, and I'm not a big fan of that smell, but this is really cute. So I'll keep this downstairs. Um, perfect for fall. And then I got this sign right here. That says, Happy Halloween. Really cute. Probably put that by the door. Brian finally, not that I need permission from him. So when I say this, I say this lightly. He finally told me, though, I've been begging to put up the decor or start decorating for probably a good solid month now. And he told me, just wait. So, oh, see, some of these are like little Valentine's Day ones. So this I got from the dollar store. Actually, did I? Yeah. Whoops. Super cute. Pumpkin kisses and harvest wishes. I really like that. This one says pumpkin spice everything. Oh, it's so cute. I got this at Hobby Lobby. I know I got that last year. And then these I do believe I got at the dollar store. Yeah. Don't sleep on Dollar General, guys. It says thankful. Hello, fall. And then fall blessings. So I think I'm going to like keep a lot of the fall stuff downstairs and then like the more Halloween in my room. But I'm going to obviously put pumpkins down here. 
Um, again, you guys are going to see a ton of these. I got a big set of these and I will probably buy 50 of them this year. Just a small, tiny little one. I have this skull, which is super, super cute. Love it. And it looks like that. Beautiful. Um, let me look and see. I think I got it at TJ. Yep, TJ Maxx, $7.99. And they have something similar to that right now if you guys want it. Sorry if I keep sniffling, guys. Oh, these are probably my pride, my prized possessions. Okay, so this is Fall Y'all, and Brian actually got this for me. Any awesome piece I have that is, decor except for this year, I've got the jack I've hit the jackpot on my own, but him, he hit the jackpot for me last year when it came to fall decor with Ray Dunn. I could not. So he got this for me. I know, I remember a girl was like returning it, nothing wrong with it, and he actually bought it. This one. Oh my God. I have to be super freaking careful with it. He ordered this for me. I think he got it off eBay, one of them sites. Oh, it's got like the glazed imperfections, if you will. And it has, it's hocus pocus and it's orange inside. And this is my prized possession. This is like my favorite piece in my collection. He paid like probably $40 for this mug, guys. And oh my God. I love her and like I'm just gonna keep her right there for now because I don't want to risk breaking it so let me show you the other box my I pumpkin have. obsession is real this is where you're really gonna see it um this like I said I had two of them so I'll keep those together I'll probably keep them downstairs what is this rock band see we throw random stuff I what did I do with these I bought a bunch of yarn I put these around something last year for like I'll have to look at my pictures but I kept them, um, I think I put them around canisters, like the lid part. It looks really cute. Probably going to do it again. These I kept in our kitchen. It is a B. Got them at a local grocery store last year. And an S. I remember I had those in the kitchen. I'm going to get glitter all over me. Okay, so like I said, the obsession is real. This one, adorable. I bought these. They came in a pack at Target. I remember that. And this is like a magenta. I'm going to have glitter everywhere. A cute purple one. We have a black one, which is beautiful. And I just scattered these all throughout my house. There's no rhyme or reason. I didn't even know they had a little smiley on it. Cute. This I know I got at Walmart. They keep carry these every year. They're like 97 cents. You can't beat that. Again... I think I got this one at Walmart, and I like how the the top of it looks. This green one, ooh, this is cute. I like this one a lot. Then I have some mini ones, and this one says Hocus, and this one says Pocus. And I got these in a set at Target. Mm, see, this is going to be hard because I want to keep it down, keep this stuff downstairs so I can, like, see it. But also, I want to decorate my thing. And I can't hold my ray down like mugs and they aren't going to look cute down here. So I have this one. It has a matching buddy. I like to have doubles, usually. This one reminded me of candy corn, so that's why I got it. I love candy corn. This one I got. I just like the way it looks. I remember getting this at TJ. Yep, $5.99. I just, it's speckled and I like the way it looks. I'm going to sneeze. Then we have these white and black, which I'm freaking obsessed with. These are like one of my favorites have a little blue one and the way I decorate the way we decorate for Halloween oh so cute and I, it's mini um the way we decorate for the holidays is we do, we don't you know have any that was rubbing against one of these pumpkins and so that's why it looks like that so I gotta put it like this this is like a unique looking one and then oh yeah and then I bought this one it's shorter though I gotta cut that off but got it at Walmart and then this one. Oh, I like this. This is really pretty. Yeah, like I said, I have, and then, hold on. This one, Adore by Love the Matte, and then the shine, like the little glitter. I have this little one. I don't even remember having some of these. And then the ribbon. And then I have more decor. I just gotta find it. But yeah, this is like a lot of it. And the way we decorate, we don't go crazy. We don't like have a ton, ton of stuff. Also, we don't have a ton, ton of room to work with. So, um, 
the way I like to decorate is I don't really have a theme. I just like, I do like colorful. I do like studs, um, glitter. I'm into that. So then I like a little bit of like the blacks and oranges. So I don't know, no rhyme or reason. But yeah, I'm going to get to setting some of this stuff up. I'm not going to do like a decorate with me video. I'll just kind of show you what I've done throughout because like I said, I need to go buy some stuff. I know I want to buy like some fake spider web to put over our mantle and then like some garland to put around the TV and things like that. But some of this, I'm just itching to put some of it out. So I'm going to do that right so now. So now we're in like my portion of the room. This, keep in mind, is not done yet. But this is kind of how I have it right now. This little tree I have, I'm going to take all of this stuff off and I'm actually going to decorate this with orange and black. So I still have to go get that stuff. I've just been really busy with work and then planning our trip and getting all that situated. So that can wait. But this is kind of what I have, I'm, like what I'm working with right now. I like the way it looks. It's super like simple, but cute. And then I have a couple little pumpkins and stuff down here. Like I said, I'm not fully done. I got to fix that. If you guys want to know how I have this set, it's on a trick or treat like cake stand I had got. And I was going to sell this at one point because I was like, no, this is obviously my favorite point, favorite part. And then the little straws, I think just like juice it up a little bit. And I'm obsessed like with all my pumpkins that I have. I'm obsessed with that green one right now, which is really weird. And then I just have a couple more pumpkins throughout my room. I think I'm going to get black. Uh, I think I'm going to get like orange lights to stream around my room, like the mirror I have. But yeah. And this is then I'm going to take you downstairs and let you see just a little bit of what right, I So over here by the door, um, this is just like a rough draft. I'm probably going to have Brian move this and put it somewhere, but it's my happy Halloween sign. I found this upstairs, which I totally forgot we had. So that's just right there. Yeah, some people may be like, um, you're supposed to put them on like your front, your, your front door, but I'm that extra that I like to look at it. I don't know. Do any of you guys do that? Or is it just me? So there's that. And you come over here. And like I said, I kept it really basic for right now because I do want to continue to add little pieces. So this is like a rough draft. I put the boost sign there, a couple of pumpkins, um, put the skull right there, and then I will show you the mic. Well, I kept really basic again too. Pretty simple. Um, my candle, I can put it right here like that. I kept it over that facing that way. I don't know why. So yeah, we have my two little succulents. You guys want to know I got these at TJ Maxx a couple years ago. Um, so I don't know if they have them. Just two little pumpkins, um, thankful, and then the fall blessings. I put the candle here. And then I have a couple decor pieces on my kitchen table, which is only two things I had, which you've seen the Ray Dunn pumpkin, I think a candle. I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, my mantle, I'm not going to show you yet because I'm not finished with it. It's honestly, I just threw a few pumpkins up there and then like that, um, iridescent kind of looking skull. And in the kitchen, again, um, I'm going to do a little bit, not too much. I have just like a couple things right now. So yeah, this is like my very minimalistic fall decor right now. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. If I could, if I had like my dream is to have a hutch one day so I can like go all out with my fall decor. But until then, this is this is fine with me. And I'm sh I'll show you guys what I'm um, melting in my wax. You guys want to know? This is the Better Homes and Garden. It's a farmhouse pumpkin patch. It's a limited edition set, obviously. And um, I normally get the farm apple pumpkin. That is my all-time favorite scent. Actually, look at Tasha. Throughout, like all throughout the year, but this one was a different one. I'm burning it right now, and it's giving me major fall vibes. Um, it smells really good. It doesn't have. It's very like cinnamony, cinnamony. If that's what, sounds weird the way I'm saying it. I do not like the fall scents that smell like. Oh my gosh, like maple syrup. I you know no hate to people who love it. It's just not for me. But this doesn't really smell like that, and I really love it. So yeah, guys, look at her. She's so precious, little baby. I'm gonna let you guys go now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What did, what did I show? It's kind of like, um, actually, I have a shop with me. I don't know if it's before or after this, you guys will see. And then, yeah, I don't know. Um, update though, I will, the last thing before I go, Tasha, she had went to her vet appointment and they had said, uh, she went like a two week update. Oh my god, I can't talk to you. She went on a two on her two week update, and the antibiotics they gave her they work wonders. They gave they um, prescribed them to us again. Her eyes do not produce tears. Period. They will not ever. So now from 
for the rest of her life. She is going to be on a steroid cream. I, we had ordered off a of Chewy. Um, it, I've never like had to do this, but like when you order it, you have to have a prescription for it. So then you have to put in the information and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I think it's like a monthly, so like a monthly thing. And it's for us, I think we, I paid 57. So every month I'll have to pay almost $60 for her for these like steroid cream for the steroid cream to produce tears. I'm assuming, I don't really know. I'm not 100% yet. So in the meantime, that's why they gave us, they told us to get the antibiotics to obviously do, you know, do what's good for her eyes. And in the meantime, while we wait, you know. So we'll see how that goes. I'll fill you guys in once I start using it and putting it on her eyes. It's weird, I guess it's like an ointment you put on her eyelid. So yeah. As long as she's not blind and her health is good, I am totally okay with spending that money on her. And $60 is not even that bad. When I first heard it, I was like, oh. but I don't care. For her, I would, for any of my dogs, I would spend that. And it's really in the grand scheme of things, like, it's not that much. But yeah, so she's doing good. That was my update for you guys. Um, I hope you all enjoy your day. And I will see you guys at some point this week. Bye.